Hey guys, what is up? Russian Ghost here, and in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create this logo. Now, this is going to be a three part tutorial. The first part is going to be on how to create the crest and the crown. The second part, we're going to focus on creating the wreath. And the final part, we'll add the colors. So, let's get into it. Welcome to the first half of the tutorial where we'll be looking at creating the crest and the crown. So let's get right into it. I have already gone ahead and created three layer groups, one being logo, second guides, and the third, a custom color palette for when we're going to be doing the last tutorial. So everything has been set in order. So without further ado, let's begin by dragging a guide onto our artboard and center it that and we'll do the same thing for horizontal guides. Now we can lock that and if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you'll notice that I usually use lines and shapes to do stuff first. So let's get those bad boys out on the field. And there we go. So first things first, let's grab our line, change it from horizontal to vertical and we're going to set the height at 375. Let's center that and we'll unlock our guides and just drop one there and one there. Now that we have the height of our crest, let's go ahead and st start putting down some other guides to how we're going to create the, the shield. So we want to do 25 now because we want some that so we're just going to get that out of the way go there perfect and we'll turn this to horizontal line and this is going to be 100 and let's put one there And we're going to change this to 50. Get our guides going there. Okay, now that we have that part sorted, it's going to come like going to make a curve to a bend then we need to another curve let's get this at 150 unlock our guides and maybe we can snap this there instead great and Let's get another one that will be the center for our curve. Perfect, perfect. Let's turn this into a horizontal line once again, and we're going to make this 15 width. Get this there. And drop that guide. All right progress. I think that is about it. Let's grab our pen tool and start. And we have our crest outline, well, the basic. So let's get our curvature tool and convert these lines into curves because we'll need to use the anchor point. Now each graphic designer is going to have their own style of the way they do stuff and this just happens to be mine. But let's just grab this line. We want a perfect curve so I'm going to show you how I usually does how I usually do mine. So we're going to do 50. We're doing 50 because remember the distance between the central guide to this guide is 100. So we're going to take that 
put it there. Unlock your guide, select it, and drag a guide out to that. Lock guides again. Use selection tool, and voila, we're going to get perfect curve now. There we go. Ah, see, see. Now, remember this one, when I wanted a center guide between these two points? Well, this is the reason. We're going to make a curve that is going to come out 15 pixel wide. And it's going to be just perfect. Ah. Now let's grab this one and bring this around here. That looks about perfect. Awesome. Now that we have that sorted, we can go ahead, remove these, and this one. We have the first half. Let's go ahead and transform, reflect, and make a copy. We'll drag that out. Let's highlight both and merge them. Awesome. Now we have our crest outline. Second thing we're going to do is offset the path. We're going to basically do it two times. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. Uh, let's offset the path. And we're going to do this by five. That's one. And let's do it again. And now we have three copies. Great. Now, what's the next thing we need to do? Let's separate these because as it is, they're overlapping each other and we want them to be a bit separated. So let's go ahead, select all three, grab our shape builder tool, one, two, three. And we now have three separate layers so we can move them anywhere we want and there you go so for now let's go ahead and just move these out of the way because we don't need that, those at the moment we're going to focus on creating the stripes on the crest now okay so first things first let's grab this line and convert it into a vertical and we're going to change this to 220 pixels in height, get this going, and drop that there. Right, now that we have that, get another one of these, and put that there. And we want it to be about, I don't know, 35 height. Let's get this at 35. That's perfect. Get that out of the way. Now we can go ahead and grab our pen tool and just do this. Let's grab this and transform and copy it. Let's flip it. And we'll merge it. Now, we want it 35 spaces away or 35 pixels away from its copy. Let's grab that and Bring that there, and then we'll bring this here also. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make a duplicate copy of our shield because for some reason, things are going to get wobbly here. Let's go ahead, select our duplicate copy of the shield and one of the stripes and we're going to intersect 
There we go. Now you see we only have one copy of shield left. That is exactly why I want that. Okay, let's make another copy again. And we'll select the second stripe this time and intersect. Perfect. Now, we need one more stripe to go here and it's going to be right above there and this one will use this so let's put this at uh let's say 70 because why not we can get that out of the way okay so let's grab our pen tool and go there We have half of it. Let's go into object, transform, reflect, and copy it. Get that there and merge this. And something is wrong. Let's try this one more time. Ah, uh, same thing again. It shouldn't be happening. Let's try this one more time. What? Come on. These anchor points are clearly touching. Am I doing something wrong? You know what? Let's just do this the easy way. Get the anchor. And voila. We can unlock these two since it's given so much problems. Just delete it. Maybe it was on my end. Who knows? Let's bring that down back into place. Great. Now we have that part finished. Let's go ahead and do the stars. So we'll go on a shape tool, select star, create a sh star shape, I should say. And let's do 25. Now, after that, let's, I don't know, put this at 0.25, get our pen tool, and let's just create some shapes within this. Great, that's done. Let's highlight them all, group them, and put them in the middle. Let's bring this up somewhere about here. Yeah, that seems perfect. And we'll make a copy of them and spread them out evenly.
there. That looks good. Yeah, I would say that looks good. Grab these two. And bring those back. Great. Let's actually just group these. And yeah. These are looking great. They're great, Tony the Tiger says. All right, now that we have that, the next step is to create the crown. Hmm. No, actually, the next step was to create the letters R and G. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to R and G. And we want this to be 105. And it's going to be time to strike. Going to create outlines and let's flip this. And what we need to do is just create something like that. Just want to slice through it. We could have used the scissors. Where is or we can just do this. When it comes to Adobe Illustrator, there's clearly more than one way to skin a goat or skin a rat, skin a cat. That's it. Yes, that is it. There's more than one way to skin a rat in Illustrator. All right, so let's go ahead, select that, and get that out of the way. Now, we want this to be there. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, let's grab this. And we'll just take a piece off the G. Great, now that we have that, we can put this in the center. Actually, this should be maybe like this. Yeah, that looks about right. And we have our G, our R and G. And it was that simple. Yes, Russian ghost. All right, moving on, let's go into something that seems a bit odd. Ah, huh. did I miss the show? Am I missing something? Unless this is not actually centered. Let's just show it's centered. Why weren't these two centering? Anyways, moving on. Time to work on the crown. So let's do 20 for this. And that this is going to be the distance between the crest and the crown. We'll Definitely remember to unlock our guides and put in a guide there. Okay, so the next thing we want is to have everything coordinate with our first crest outline. Words are hard, forgive me. Okay, after that, we want to do let's do 15 pixels height and we'll 
come here and just drop that there. And of course, this is how easily you can forget to put your guys in the correct layer. All right, so we want to come down 25. So let's go here and do this. And then we want to do. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do this, but it is what it is. And then let's do 15. All right, so now that we have that, that we're going to remember to select our guides. And put that there. So this should be coming down like this. Thumbs up. And there. Okay, let's get that. One of these guys in here. It better not. Anyways, yeah. Let's grab our pen tool. We we'll start with the bottom. And there. Let's just grab a curvature tool and put some anchors down there. Then next thing we're going to do is grab our square, put that there, and yeah, let's try to get a center in that. But this one, you can leave the the guide under logo because we're going to be removing it in a second. All right, so let's get our selection tool. And let's get some sexy curves going. Yeah, man. Voila. Doesn't that look really good? Oh, yeah. All right, all right, dude, we're making so much progress. Let's go ahead, delete these right there. We don't need those. Uh, what we do will need is what we will do, we'll do will, you know, potato, potato. Let's make a copy of this. And we are going to put that there. Just a little fake boy, don't you think? And merge, merge, merge. Change that to that. And I seem to have. Okay. Apparently. I merge a guide line with it, which caused the guide to disappear. Do you think Adobe should fix that? Okay, moving on. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and offset this path by three pixels. Offset and Mr. Three. There we go. Now that we have that, we are going to grab this little line again. This little line and I change that to 10. That's this do 10 from there. Unlock our guides, select it, drop a guide. Voila, we have our baseline now. And we want to put this at a height of 140. Let's do 140 and yep. Let's select our guides again. Put that there. And we want it to come down at least 60. So let's do 60. This is where things tend to get a bit complicated for me. 
So I'm going to try and go as slow as possible while trying to be focused at the same time. So the ideal of this is to get a brush tool and maybe put this as color that wouldn't affect this too much. Okay, so the deal behind this is that it's going to come like this. And it's supposed to make a curve like this. And then come up. And down. then it's going to, or this is going to come like this. OK, so let's try and follow that. One other thing I should have done. OK, well, we'll get to that. Just need to remember. OK, so now that we're here, we need to, where's my line, my trusted line? Here, here, Mr. Line. Okay. Um, we're gonna come down twenty five from here. Let's get this at twenty five. And drop that there. Let's actually collapse that. Drop this here, and we want this to be sixty twenty five from there. Sixty thirty. Put this at. It's going to drop this here, and this is going to be the center for our circle. So let's see how this is going to work. Okay, if I create a circle really quick, and we're going to put this at 60. So let's go ahead and see what this would look like. We put that there. Well, actually, it should come a bit more here. And this guy. Just want to get a ballpark where this would be, so. Let's get a guy down to get it centered just in case. Okay, so now that we have the center for that, make sure I don't have any guides in my logo layer. So we're going to go from here upwards. Let's do. Hmm, let's do 15 again. I guess. Fifteen and that is gonna be here. So when this comes here. Let's just drag our guides onto our guide layer. Bring that there. So here we have fifteen. And already I forgot what this one was meant to be. Oh, right, yeah. That one was meant to be there. Okay, so now that we have this one coming here, so we need to come from here, here. Let's do an odd shape. Let's do 35 coming from here. And goddamn, if I keep forgetting to put this under the guides. Okay, moving on. 35, and let's do 50. Let's get rid of this. Do 50. And. That is going to come down. So we said 
that and then this is going to be 25 and down here separate guide layers and drop that there awesome now let's see if we can do this without messing it up so let's go ahead and start it all so we were going to be coming here which if i remember 60 where is this 60 coming from i remember this was supposed to be 60 so why is it I'm in there. After this would have been I'm in here and that. And this is where we already messed up. Okay, let's see if we can correct this on spot. See where we went wrong. You know, this was supposed to be coming down like this. So then, therefore, this would have had to. Okay, we need to start this over. Let's get these two out of the way. And let's bring this back into the picture. So I remember we were doing 20, oh, we're doing 10 as a gap. Select our guides and go there. Then we wanted a height of 140. So this would have been our total height. Just make sure nothing is in our logo glare. Great. Now, after that, we did 60. And I keep forgetting to do the guys under the guides. Guys, don't let this be a mistake because you will eventually click on a guide and move it accidentally, which could mess up what you're doing. Okay, so now that we have that coming there, I think the next thing we wanted to do was to get this somewhere around here which means we would have had to come down was it the oh yeah that was right so from here we had to come down 25. and from that we did 15. and that was where that was this is where that is correct so we just need to bring this there this needs to be there Perfect. So we came down like that. Then we're going to come up here. 
and that was i think we came up about 12 let's just bring that out there and bring this and we'll do 12. Twelve, and that is where we got the intersection. And from that, we did, it was it 35? 35, yes. Came up from here. Get 35 by 50. get 35 by 50 and then we came down let's make this really really long because we don't know what the outcome is going to be and we're going to rotate this let's do negative 23 and come down here. So we would have hit, if I'm correct, should be correct to hit this with some kind of there or not. Let's get a guy going there. Okay, let's just try to outline this to make it look like we know what we're actually doing. Just get us going out a bit like this. And this one, let's move this here where this joint. Okay, this seems to make more sense now. Can we get these to? Okay, don't worry about that. Let's just grab our pen tool. And start tracing. And I think we have it. We do, we do have it. Okay, so, so let's not get confused. Let's just go ahead and remove these guides because I don't want to get confused again. But what we can do, put one there and Grab this. Okay. 
make sure that is perfectly centered between the two guides. And just put one there. Lock the guides. Move that out of the way and start converting our lines into curves so that we can get to some really awesome curves on these things. A fast way in doing this would just to be just to use the curvature tool and to manually do the anchor points you hold the control key. But like even to that is too much work for me. <laughs> Let's just get this. We're looking for that nice curvature. Something that looks royal, I guess. Let's try to bring this here. Maybe somewhere around there. There are ways to get perfect curves, but that is going to be on a whole different tutorial where I'm explaining the entire Adobe Illustrator suite, which should be fun. Okay, so let's bring this in. Maybe somewhere around here would look good. Yep. And get these anchor points. And there we go. We have one half. Now let's see if we can merge these two without, let's go transform reflect. Yeah, let's try to merge these two without having any issues like the last time. Wow, that is the first time I've ever done a merge with the crown and it hasn't given me any issues. Okay, let's go ahead and offset the path and we're going to do three pixels. If you're, if you're offsetting the path and you notice that the edges are clipping like this, just increase your, your mitre limit and there we go, it's fixed. And there we go, we have the crown and the crest all created. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at how we created the wreath. So if you guys found this helpful, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And I apologize for the audio.